on the dinner, I'm the same man, dig this snow. I can kick it with a lame ass nigga, let's go. You ain't with me, you the same as the yeah. uh, uh, nigga thinking about my chain, man. Hey, homies about time I start breaking them off. Yeah. Lots of daddies who begging to fuck me, but I ain't got time to start breaking them off. Let's go. Only bought it cause it was a T. I can't even spell the design I bought. It. No Put a dick in the Glock and knock out your mouth. Pussy boy, better watch how you talk. I'ma show him, he said I ain't with it. Go. Him, I got out the window, can't go like no bitch if he sending some shots, I'ma shoot back. Yo, what is. I really can't start intros like that. <laughs> But anyways, what is going on, my wonderful, but amazing people? It's your boy, Real Gamers, back with another video. And before anything, I would just like to say thank you for everybody taking their time of the day just to stop by. So look, man, before we get straight into the video, I will have timestamps down below in the description. So if you guys would like to skip along, please feel free to. I understand how everybody may be at a certain section. So, hey, don't let me waste your time. In this video, I will try to cover some sections that most people are curious about, especially when it comes to time bomb or range, for example, even single target. Single target numbers do fluctuate at times or even range. All in all, there are many topics for me to cover throughout this video, so hey, just stick along and let me explain it all to you. With all that being said, if this video helps you out in any sort of way, please hit that like button, possibly comment or subscribe. If you guys would like to take it a step further, hit that notification button and share my content because that helps the algorithm and it allows us to grow as a channel. So hey, if you guys are ready, let's get straight into it. As for moves with the first single target loadout, we are using Heat Vision and Graviton Field. Also, we are using Lift and Energy Explosion. Finally, we're using Neo Venom and Robot Sidekick. As for our weapon, we have one point into our one-handed and as for our Iconics, we have four points into our Iconics. Finally, with our stat tree, we are going to max the top two and then put the rest into our Might and Power. Okay, so when it comes to artifacts, the three preferred artifacts I would recommend for this loadout is the Grim, Transformation Card, and also the Amulet. Now when it comes to players not having these three artifacts, what you can possibly do is replace the Amulet for the Strategist card and possibly replace the Grim for the Solar. Now with the beginning of the rotation, what you will want to do to start off everything is actually go from left to right, and then after you do hit your 35er, you basically go from right to left. So like so, as you guys see me doing. Keep in mind, since you are using the amulet, you need to be aware of how many times you're doing your rotation before you actually overlap the damage and end up killing yourself, but also keep in mind that heat vision does apply more stacks than needed, which the way of using heat vision is basically applying it just so you can get the first couple of ticks off and then you're going to jump cancel into your graviton field, then finally continue throughout your rotation. Be aware, if you would like to maximize damage with its rotation, I would recommend everybody to let the full animation of heat vision go off instead of jump cancelling, just so you can get more stacks than needed, and when you do hit that 35er, just go back from left to right. Getting a little bit more into heat vision though, some people aren't that big of a fan of heat vision, which if you aren't, then hey, put on time bomb, which I'm gonna actually get into time bomb right now, so stay tuned. Now let's speak about time bomb for a little bit where a lot of people want to use this move but they don't really know too much about it or know how to use it directly. Basically time bomb is a move where you spawn a ball and it floats over the person's head and you basically do damage to increase that ball's damage. Now the confusion comes from what moves do you actually press to increase that ball's damage. Now from what I can say and from what I've been working on. A lot of moves really don't affect time bomb as much as we thought so. Obviously you're going to have all your quantum moves that are going to be effectful for the move but at the same time those that may want to use heat vision, those that may want to use freezing breath or any iconic moves like tornado pull or whatever, those moves don't really impact time bomb at all. Now the way I made my time bomb work where it was still giving me the full damage of the explosion was just by simply slowing down heat vision. Now this can work for many people or this may not work for many people but for the purpose of this loadout alone, heat vision was basically capping my time bomb and as you guys see with the numbers right there, my numbers were at a 60, now it's at a 54 and I'm going to purposely cap it out just to show you guys what it would do. So as you guys see, I basically, <laughs> I went from hitting 60s and 65s average to basically hitting 50 and a 40. If you guys pay attention, I didn't slow down the rotation at all, but the only thing I did do was actually let the full animation and heat vision go, which, as you guys saw, it did cap out my damage. So for those who may want to use heat vision with quantum, A, feel free to, but if you are using the time bomb, please just be aware of how long you let the animation go before the time bomb does cap out on your damage. Now going into the range loadout, as for moves, we have lift and time shift, then warp barrage and distortion wave. Finally, Neo Venom and Gravity Well. As for artifacts, I am running the Grim, Transformation Card, and the Strategist Card. 
understand with using a range loadout in the artifacts that you will need, range is mainly going to be benefiting from the transformation card and the strategist card. So the grim isn't going to be too needed unless you need a PI being applied, which I technically do. Understand with range, the loadout that I showed you is going to be mainly benefiting from your dots over time. So understand the solar amplifier or any artifacts that are mainly benefiting that might stat isn't really needed. Okay, so now getting into the range loadout, something that you can actually do is switch your weapon from whatever you're using to possibly rifle, just because rifle is the only weapon in the game that does AoE damage for the weapon tap, so hey, stick with it. Now I understand this may vary depending on your playstyle, but me personally, if I was to go quantum, I would not be going range in any raid or mission. And that's just because now to this day, meta powers are too good. Now I'm not trying to say quantum range is bad and all, but at the same time, quantum range can be compared to maybe electric, just because electric and quantum both rely on dots being applied to just get damage out. Now with quantum, it's not really the dots being too much of a problem, it's just more of the damage potential that each move has. Most of the moves with quantum don't really do too much damage alone. Now I understand how some people may say what about distortion wave, what about lift, what about time bomb when you don't cap out the damage. These are all really good moves but one thing that you need to understand is these are all different moves with different power interactions. And I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I'm a fan of putting my own loadout together knowing that every move is going to do damage. And understanding that maybe one or two of your moves aren't going to be doing the full damage sucks. Well, all that being said, look man, if you aren't a fan of quantum range, what you can possibly do is actually try mid range, which I got a mid range loadout for you. So, hey, stay tuned. Now, the way of doing the mid range loadout is like so clipping the first two moves and then continuing throughout the rotation. But be aware of how close you are to as because you are mid range. All in all, as you guys see, the numbers are looking really nice and these numbers look a lot better than range. So, if I are you, possibly go mid range. But still, I don't really know what else to say. The numbers are looking nice and I'm gonna let this clip play out. So, stay tuned. Now getting into the melee loadout, as for moves, we are using Sonic Cry, a Cubo Wave, and Distortion Wave, which if you want me to be honest, those are the only three moves you need. For the middle move that's more of a filler, you can use Whirling Dervish, or you can actually use Time Bomb, or you don't need a move right there at all. <laughs> but anyways, we are using Neo Venom, and finally, Gravity Well. Now as for the rotation, that middle move right there, that can be a filler, so you can use Whirling Dervish or actually Time Bomb, but let's just say if you do use Time Bomb, it's a melee loadout. I, I guarantee your, your moves are going to be quicker than your time bomb exploding when it comes to putting out damage. And keep in mind, you aren't the only person in the raid. So someone may be earth popping entombed and they may kill the whole group of ass before your time bomb explodes. So I would not rely on a single move to do all your damage. Now what I did was actually add Roiling Dervish inside of the rotation, which as you guys will see, it'll do a lot more damage. Keep in mind, I do read and notice all my comments, and I do realize that not everybody is super speed. So, I try to make my videos as fair as possible, but this is the damage that I'm pulling off of Whirling Dervish. So, not too bad, and it's not really too far off from without it. So, hey. Okay, so now we are coming to the end of the video. If you guys have enjoyed, please let me know down below in the comment section. Please let me know what I forgot to include or what I could have included differently. Also, please don't forget to hit that like button, possibly comment or subscribe. Hey man, please go above and beyond, possibly share my content if you want to. But besides that, I'm done for now. I'm going to let the clips go on and hey, I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Take care.